Have you ever seen a rich person and thought to yourself, how is he rich? He's not even that smart. I'd bet you have. Something that I find interesting is that I see a lot of people bashing on personalities like the Kardashians on how they have no talent or the Paul brothers on YouTube on the many reckless things they do, just to name a few. But interestingly, they still make a lot of money. Something that I notice that makes people mad is that they see someone who they consider not to be smart or talented be more successful than they are. And we can talk about perception and reality, but that's a topic for another video. But guess what? Making money is not about knowing a lot of things or being school smart. I know, I know, shocking. Like we talked about in our 6 rules of money video, which you can check out in the top right hand corner, we know that money follows certain patterns, no matter how intellectually smart you might be. Many people think that because they went to school and know all about astrophysics and can show you off on solving a complicated equation, they should make more money than the ones who don't. I mean, that's what we were told in school, that by getting a formal education, you will make more money than those who don't. And that might be true if you join the workforce. But have you noticed how these quote unquote untalented people don't really have jobs, yet they make a whole bunch of money? And there's a reason for it. They know something that almost the majority of the population never learn. They possess what are called high income skills. These are skills that no matter who you are, what you do, or how much you know about trigonometry, they take advantage of the way money moves and puts you in a position to attract more of it in your direction. The first time I learned this, I was actually a little upset because in all the years that I spent in school, I learned zero high income skills. We can learn geography, trigonometry, and all that's fast fascinating, but if we don't know how to make money with it, it'll be just knowledge sitting in our brain. Like Tony Robbins says, knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. If we don't know how to use it, then it just stays as potential power. These people who many consider to be untalented learn how money moves in the world. And if we pay close attention, these people follow a very simple formula. First is getting attention. In today's world, attention is currency. Having people's attention is incredibly valuable. That is one of the reasons why many internet personalities today can make almost as much money as the average Hollywood celebrity because they're getting just as much attention. Take internet vloggers Logan Paul or Jake Paul for example, they are criticized enormously for obvious reasons but they are able to make enormous amounts of money simply because they know how to get attention. And remember, money goes where the attention flows. That is why companies are willing to pay these people a lot of money for a simple post on their Instagram. Now, you don't have to be a vlogger. Take Richard Branson for example. He knows how to use this little trick to get attention to his companies. For example, in 1996, he started a company called Virgin Brides and he actually showed up dressed as a bride to the fashion show. And if you look at Richard Branson's biography, you'll learn that he pulls a lot of stunts to get attention to his companies. So if you can find a way to bring lots of attention to your business, you have the potential to make a lot of money. So the first skill is getting attention. Now having attention does not necessarily mean that you're making money. There are many influencers with a big following who aren't making that much money. That is because they lack the second component. They have the first part down, but they do not have the second skill that brings in the dollars, which is marketing and advertising. If you have both of these skills together, chances are you can make some serious money. To be able to market simply means that you have the skill to promote and advertise. Let's look at the vlogger Logan Paul as an example again. He is very good at advertising his product, where he creates whole pieces of content that millions of people watch and his audience finds entertaining with the underlying promotion of his brand. In many cases, you see the promotion being done in a comedic way. This way, his audience enjoys the comedy instead of putting their guards up because they're being sold. If you can do that while promoting your product, you not only bypass the logical brain that tells you, oh, they're trying to sell me something, but instead, the audience associates your brand in a positive way since they are having a good time when they see the promotion. Now, we'll go further on the topic of marketing in a future video, but we got one more high income skill left in the equation. And that is sales. Sales is a little different than marketing. Marketing is about building awareness of the product or brand. Sales is closing the deal, making the transaction. Learning the psychology of what makes people say yes is incredibly valuable. I actually made an in-depth video about this topic right here, if you want to check it out. So marketing is bringing people in the store. Sales is closing the deal. So let's think about this. 
If you're able to get lots of attention, bring awareness of a product or service to your audience, and have this skill to close the deal and make a transaction, do you think you'll be able to make some money? If you had all three of these skills, would you need to know geography or astrophysics to be able to create a good income? I am sure you know the answer. So remember, the simple equation these people use is 1. Get attention. 2. Get people aware of the product or service. And 3. Make the sale. And you guys ask for it, I am opening up 3 spots for one-on-one -on -one training sessions on the topic of creating and growing your brand. To register, there will be a link in the description of this video. There will be a 3 question application and if I like your answers, I will email you back with more details. If you like videos about success, business and psychology, make sure to subscribe to not miss any of our many future videos. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.